Hey guys, this is Eric with Painting Business Pro and this is the first video that I'm diving into about how you get in your own way and the most common excuses I hear from people about why they aren't starting their business, growing their business, achieving the success they want. And so this week and in the next several videos, we're going to be going through the most common limitations I see, excuses I see from people about why they're not starting, why they're not growing. So the first one is, you know, for people who are looking to start a business, it's I don't have any money to start my business. And there's always a really, you know, the thing I got to point out is that all these excuses there, it's not going to show up for you like an excuse. It's going to show up for you like it's reality. Like when people say, I don't have money to start the business, they've always got a, a whole story they can tell me. You know, I had this happen and so-and-so has been sick and all of our money has gone to medical bills or, you know, I don't have any money because I just got fired from my job and I had this happen and this happened or I had a business but it went bankrupt and I've never gotten back on my feet. And there's always a big story about it. But the bottom line is you have some amount of money right now and you need some amount of money to start the business. Okay. And if you're really you know, I'll, I'll reference back to the Tony Robbins quote I said in the, in the last video. It said something like, I believe life is constantly testing our level of commitment and real greatness is reserved for those people who have a never ending, unending commitment to act until they achieve. So that's the whole thing here is life is going to test you. How committed are you really to having a business? How committed are you really to succeeding in business? So I'm going to show you how easy, if you are really committed, because this is called life testing you. If you're really committed to building a great business, this is really pretty simple. I have other videos on my channel to show you how I started my painting business for 200 bucks. I go into excruciating detail in how to do that in my training course. My training course is 197 bucks if you get the payment plan, $197 down and then there's a few more payments. All right, so that's one startup cost that I would strongly recommend anybody who's planning on starting up. And then you've got your other startup costs, which could be anywhere from $200 to let's just be really crazy and say $1,000. If you're smart about it, you do, you, no one needs $1,000 to start this business if you're smart and creative about it. But let's just say you do. So you need $1,200 above and beyond however much money you're making right now. Now look, how committed are you? Can you come up with $1,200? That's, that's the price you need to pay to get into business. That's what it costs. So that's literally what you have to do is come up with 1200 bucks on the high end. Many of you can get a business started for like four or $500 if you're creative and you get started with the course, get your business registered and do that, do that. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, the whole point to being an entrepreneur is you are creating value and then getting paid for it. That's what being in business is. I create value, I get paid. I create value, I get paid. I'm creating money out of thin air. So you can look at this like, oh, I just don't have that money and you can just sit there. Quit pretending you wanna start a business then. If you're not gonna take the action, then just, just stop even thinking about it. Just watch a TV show instead of this video. All right, but if you're gonna be thinking about it and you're really committed to it, start to do something about it. Now look, your job as an entrepreneur is to come up with money out of thin air. How do you do that? Well, you provide a service to somebody. So you can't start your business yet, but what you can do is you can go on Craigslist and you can find paid gigs. Go help somebody move boxes for a day. Go clean, go mow somebody's lawn. Go babysit. Go do something for someone. Go post on your Facebook and say, hey, I'm trying to make a little extra cash to build up money for my business. Who needs help around the house? Can I replace a board? Can I fix a washing machine? What do you know how to do that you can go do for people? And even if it takes you six months to come up with this money, that's okay. That's just what it takes for you. So instead of sitting there and you keep saying, I don't have money to start a business. Instead, what you want to be doing is saying, how much money do I need to start a business and how do I make it? Entrepreneurs who are successful are action focused, solution focused. You're not focusing on the problem. You're focusing on the solution to the problem. And so if you're really committed to starting a business, you need to figure out what's the thing that I keep saying, why I'm not starting it, and how do I find a solution instead of, you know, just keep telling me the problem again and again and again. Okay, so 
Um, if you have any questions about that, drop a comment below. I'll leave a link to my, my training course in the comments. Um, I'll also leave a link to our startup business checklist in the comments so you can see what steps do you need to take. The only reason it would be a thousand bucks, by the way, is if you need to get a license. Licensing can be expensive. But even in those situations, you, there's creative things you can do to lower that cost. And many places don't require a license, or you might be able to work with somebody who already has a license and use somebody else's license or buy a license from someone. There's a lot of, of other solutions if you're really committed. The question is, how committed are you? So next week, we'll be talking about, what if I have a full-time job? How do I get started? I have a full-time job. And we'll talk about how to get over that challenge. So we'll see you then.